Take a train. Take a train to Wales. Take a holiday in North and Mid Wales, this historic land with its scenery of haunting beauty and majestic grandeur. Here you will find wide sweeping bays of golden sands, mysterious mountains, glittering waterfalls, lakes, rivers, green fertile valleys and the great castles with their stories of pageantry and violent battles long ago. A land of contrasts and unique attractions. This is the land of the great little trains, narrow gauge railways which carry passengers through some of the loveliest scenery in Wales. Some of these lines were built over a century ago, mainly to transport minerals and slate from the inland quarries to the coast. Today, due to enthusiastic management and supporting societies, many survive and enjoy a new lease of life as passenger carrying railways, operating mainly during the holiday season. <coughs> Situated in the pastoral Paris countryside, the Welshpool and Slanfair light railway is the nearest narrow gauge line to the English border. Motive power includes two of the original steam locomotives built by Bayer Peacock for the opening of the line in 1902, as well as one acquired from Austria. This locomotive was used on the German military field railways during World War II. There is also an interesting collection of passenger coaches, including a set from the Austrian Tyrol. This is the line that can be visited at the start or end of a Welsh narrow gauge touring holiday. The Talis Lynn was the first of the narrow gauge lines to be preserved. Originally built to transport slate from the quarries of Abergenolwyn to the sea at Towin, the six and a half mile track follows the southern slope of a pastoral farming valley. Halfway along at Dolgoff, a visit can be made to the waterfalls in a wooded gorge before completing the return journey on this fascinating line. Much of the original rolling stock is in use today, including two of the locomotives built in the 1860s. time allows, a pleasant hour or two can be spent in the village of Abergenolwyn, in the heart of the mountains. This two-foot gauge line has been built on the track bed of part of the former Great Western Ruaban to Barmouth standard gauge line, and is known as the Bala Lake Railway. New carriages and a powerful miniature diesel locomotive have been built for use on this line, which affords passengers an unrivaled view of Bala Lake, the largest natural lake in Wales. At the North Wales resort of Llandudno, a three-foot six-gauge cable railway carries passengers up steep gradients to the summit of the Great Orme, 650 feet above sea level. The single cars are worked by cables between the tracks and controlled by the winding house at halfway where passengers change cars for the remainder of the journey. At the summit, on a fine day, most of the Snowdonia mountain range, as well as the coast of Anglesey, can be seen.
This is the Festiniog Railway, the oldest narrow-gauge passenger railway in the world. Originally built in 1836 as a gravity line to transport slate from the quarries at Blina Festiniog to the sea at Port Madog, it also carried for many years local people over a route of outstanding natural beauty. Now, present-day passengers can enjoy this journey as the track climbs high above the wooded valleys and along the side of the mountain. A narrow gauge trip with a difference, a ride into the heart of a mountain. A recreated miner's tramway takes visitors on a guided tour inside the Lequith Slate Quarries at Blina Pistiniog, one of the largest slate mines in the world. Specially designed passenger cars, hauled by battery-driven locomotives, travel through the narrow tunnels to the old working caverns. Here, spirits of 19th century quarrymen abound, for those with imaginative minds. Guides, all ex-quarrymen, give a fascinating account of working life underground and conditions of days in the mines long ago. Slate, the reason why many of these narrow gauge lines were brought into being. The Flanberis Lake Railway, with its views across Snowdon, operates on part of the old Padan Railway, which transported slate from the Denorwick quarries to the coast. Ex-quarry locomotives with romantic names like Elidia, Wild Aster, and Dolbadan now take passengers on a pleasure ride to the far end of the lake and back. This line affords magnificent views of the whole Flanberis area, with the great mountain of Snowdon and the surrounding peaks in the background. This 15-inch gauge, two-mile-long railway runs along the edge of the sea and connects Fairbourne with the Barmouth Ferry at Penryn Point. Originally a mineral railway, it was later converted to carry passengers in horse-drawn wagons. But today, immaculate steam locomotives and comfortable open carriages offer visitors an exhilarating journey along the sands. This is the Vale of Rydall Railway, British Rail's only steam-operated passenger line. Twelve miles long, it was built in the early 1900s to transport lead ore from the hillside mines of the Rydall Valley down to the harbour at Aberystwyth. As the River Rydall follows its gentle course in the valley below, the powerful little locomotives make an impressive sight and sound as the trains steadily climb the side of the wooded valley to the terminus, 680 feet above sea level.
On arrival, time can be made for a visit to the famous Devil's Bridge close by and the spectacular waterfalls in a wooded gorge, one of the true wonders of Wales. Opened in the 1890s, the Snowdon Mountain Railway is the only rack and pinion work line in the British Isles. It takes passengers on a breathtaking journey to the 3,500 foot summit of this great mountain with its magnificent panoramas of the whole of the Snowdonian area and beyond. summit station, one may climb a few extra feet to the top, the highest point in England and Wales. Nowhere else will be found so many preserved narrow gauge railways so close together as in this part of Wales, and the scenic British Rail Cambrian coastline provides a convenient link between five of them. All these railways are operated and maintained by a small permanent staff and in some cases supported by dedicated volunteers from all walks of life who spend much of their spare time working on the railways just for the love of it. Wales is a sanctuary for these narrow gauge lines where the magic of the steam locomotive will remain for many years to come. In spring, summer and autumn, take a holiday and take a ride on the great little trains of Wales.